Dr. Chetri, call two seven. Dr. Chetri, call two seventeen. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. Adam, are you finished, I think? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Anything you want to buy or sell, I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. See you soon. and hook me up with some real tight merch. Those odd lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grayson? Where he at these days? Yo, where you been, man? You been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case. And the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? 
First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up, maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Why retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cop already full. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it. Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, They'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. That's all I need for now. Oh man, Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Neoshia Akeem is way prettier. But Eliza has intelligence, and I love how she dresses. So cool. Intelligence? Oh, please. 
can't actually believe that Purity First is real. Not yet. Never let T-Boss be booking me with no cards. Maybe those purity first nuts have got the right idea. It might be the only way to get the governments off their asses and do something.
can't actually believe the purity first. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through the roof. Thanks to the Did you see it on the news? William Taggart, Liza celebrity mentioned. author and founder of the anti-augmentation organization, Humanity Front. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. One cannot Listen, help but wonder if millionaire Hugh you. Darrow, Not right now. the man whose innovations first propelled augmentation Sounds technology to the forefront, will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests. These offices are off-limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Restricted area beyond this point, sir. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. You think I knew you'd be here? I'd have been just as happy without ever seeing you again, believe me. But I need to get into the morgue, so just open the door and stop getting in the way when innocent people are in danger. You don't get to bully me, Jensen. You're not my boss anymore. I don't have to take your crap. Not after what happened two years ago. You dropped the ball, and I wound up here. You are not taking the rest of my life from me. Now get the hell out of here, and don't come back until you grow a conscience. And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not going to force you to do anything, and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago... I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't need your help. I'm fully aware what I did back then. The call was made, I took the shot. I killed the kid, and nobody else had to carry it. What kind of sick bastard comes around after two years and reopens a wound like that? Hey, take it easy. Nobody is judging you. It's not why I'm here. Just give me what I want, and I'll be on my way. We won't have to yell at each other anymore. 
You never give up, do you? What could I have done different? I ask myself that every day. And then I remember what it was really about all along. You, you got the order, you refused it, and it got shoved onto me. I did the only thing I could do, you understand that? I just wish it could finally be over so I could live my life. I've heard enough of this. You're lying to yourself. You pulled that trigger, no one else. You can't escape from that for the rest of your life. Accept it, make it a part of your history, and put it in your past. Because denial is only making it worse. You're totally out of your mind. Where do you get off? Two years of disapproval and dead silence, then all you can do is yell at me? Do that all you like. I'm not listening anymore. You blew your last chance with me. Hey, how are you? I don't know. Hey, uh, boss. How badly do you want that neural hub? If you're considering multiple homicides to get it, I suggest you back off and look for a less, uh, conspicuous way in. From outside the building. United in their cause to find a common ground. Jensen, I have a message for you, from one of your former colleagues, a Detective Alexander. Jenny? What did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. <laughs> <laughs> 